Welcome to Easy to Love Yoga with Shanna. So for today's chair yoga class, we are going to use a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can also use a men's necktie. And we're also going to use a tennis ball. We're going to use this for a little massage of our feet. So have a tennis ball or some other sort of fairly firm ball that you can use that you can place under your feet. So for now, I'm just going to leave that ball on the floor beside me. So let's begin class by coming seated forward in our chair, sitting nice and tall, lengthening the spine, nice 90 degree bend at the knees and feet flat on the floor. Let's roll our shoulders to the back of the room, releasing any tension we might be holding in the shoulders today. And let's change directions and roll the shoulders to the front of the room. So we will be doing a full body stretch today with a little focus on the feet. One more forward roll and then place your hands wherever they land comfortably on your legs. Still sitting nice and tall, focusing on that posture, but closing your eyes now and bringing your awareness inward to your breath. Notice as you inhale, the chest rises and then the belly rises. And as you exhale, the belly falls and then the chest falls. Deep breathing, also known as diaphragmic breath. Let's notice our breath for the next five rounds of breath. Bring your awareness now to the crown of your head where we'll begin a scan of our body from the crown of our head down to our toes. Noticing the sensations in your body today and what your energy feels like before we begin this practice together. Completing the scan of your body and bringing your awareness once again to your breath. Let's begin stretching out our neck gently. First by making sure that strap is not too close to our neck. We're gonna slowly lower the left ear towards the left shoulder, feeling a gentle stretch in the right side of the neck. One more breath here. Returning the head to center. And this time lowering the right ear towards the right shoulder, feeling a gentle stretch in the left side of the neck. One more breath. Return to center. Keeping the shoulders relaxed and eyes closed, lift the chin as if you were gazing up at the ceiling, feeling the stretch in the front of the neck. One more breath here. Return to center. And this time, draw the chin in towards the chest, feeling the stretch in the back of the neck. Let's gently lift the head and open the eyes. Let's begin by rolling out the wrists in one direction, changing directions and rolling the other way. And we're going to bring our hands together at heart center. I want you to keep those elbows lifted nice and high. We're going to press the palms to the fingertips firmly together here and I want you to notice the energy transferring from one palm into the other, but also noticing the muscles engage from the shoulders all the way down to the fingertips. One more breath, and then relax the hands. Now keep that left hand relaxed and gently press upon it with the right hand. What you're looking for is a nice stretch in the lower part of the wrist of the left hand that's being pressed upon. One more breath here. Draw the hands back to center. This time relaxing the right hand as the left hand presses upon it. Once again, looking for the stretch in the lower part of the right wrist. One more breath. Let's come back to center. Lift those elbows nice and high once again. We're going to draw our fingertips into the center of the room, keeping the fingertips to the palms of the hands pressed together. Now we're going to bring those fingertips pointing towards our body. Again, palms of the hands stay together. And let's rotate to the front, towards you, to the front, towards you. Let's do that one more time. To the front and towards you. Beautiful, let's come back to center. Now we're gonna interlace the fingers slightly and we're gonna do the wave. So strike the wave in whatever direction feels most comfortable to you. 
I want you to notice if you need to think about the wave, what it looks like, how much effort you're putting into that wave. Let's do two more in this direction. And then pause. And now I want you to start the wave in the other direction. And I want you to notice, is it still in a smooth wave shape? Has it changed? Are you needing to think about it more? So this is just one of those exercises we can use to demonstrate how we can have imbalance in the body. Perhaps it's just a coordination thing, but it's still an imbalance. Let's do two more. And we'll pause and gently shake up the hands. Beautiful job. So let's start working our spine. So we're going to work our spine from side to side. So we're going to grab the chair with our right hand. Take that left hand overhead. I want you to really reach for the ceiling here. Feeling the side body stretch, that rib cage lift. And let's come into a nice side bend here. Let's gaze up to the ceiling. Four rounds of breath holding. Reach for the sky once again. And let's change sides. Opposite hand is reaching for the sky, feeling the side body stretch. Rib cage is lifted. Come into that nice side bend. Four breaths. Reaching for that sky once again. And now we'll do six single side bends at your own pace, looking up as that hand comes up and over. Perhaps you'd like to go a little deeper into that side bend each time you come over to the same side. Let's add one more on each side. Beautiful. And once again, sitting nice and tall on the chair, making sure that strap's not too close to the neck. We're going to introduce a twist, and we're going to go right into a regular twist. We're going to take the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind us on the chair. I want you to think about a nice tall posture here. And on your next exhale, I want you to look over that right shoulder and hold for eight rounds of breath. Notice the muscles resist as we first move into this twist. Just continue to breathe deeply, allow them to relax. One more breath. Let's slowly unwind and come back to our starting position. This time it's the right hand to the left knee, sitting nice and tall. Exhale and look over the shoulder, looking over that left shoulder for eight breaths. One more breath here. And then slowly unwind, coming forward. Now we're going to take that strap off of our shoulders. We're going to have it a little bit wider than knee width apart. We're going to start with it down by our knees for a couple rounds of cow and cat breath. So as we inhale the cow, the strap rises, our gaze comes up, and our belly comes forward. And as we exhale the cat, lower the strap and arch your back to the back of the chair. Inhale to cow, strap rises, gazes up, belly forward. Exhale to cat, lower the strap, arch towards the back of the chair. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. And let's do one more. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Beautiful job. Let's just rest the strap on our legs for just a moment. Place your hands on your hips. Let's do a nice circular motion in one direction, just noticing if there's any tension in your low back or your hips that you can release before we move on. One more in this direction, and then we'll pause at center and roll the opposite way. One more roll in this direction and then pause at center. Now we're gonna take that strap, and we're gonna put it under the sole of our left foot. We're going to have one end of the strap in each hand. And we're going to pick that left foot off the ground. We're going to make sure there's a tiny bend at the knee at all times to protect the joint. We're going to contract the heel towards the seat of the chair and extend the leg out. So as we contract and extend, just waking up the hip on the side of the body.
On your next extension out, we're going to hold, bring both ends of the strap into that left hand. So now your right hand is free to grab the chair and help with posture, still, still sitting nice and tall here. We're going to extend the leg out to the side, still a tiny bend at the knee, thinking about that tall posture as we work the inner thigh and groin and also feel the quads engaged, holding our leg up against gravity. One more breath. And let's draw that leg forward. We're going to move into our figure four. We're going to take that strap, bring that foot across the opposite knee, keeping the top foot flexed to protect the bent knee. If this is not available to you, you can extend the foot on the floor a little bit more forward. If you're still feeling a little tight in the hips, you can bring the heel just below the knee and hold the strap at the ankles. Or another alternative is just to cross the ankles and hold the strap at the knee. So option four, Option three, option two, and option one. Keeping that top foot flexed to protect that bent knee, let's exhale and lower our body towards our legs, looking for the stretch in the hip of the leg that's elevated. Two more breaths. Beautiful, let's slowly rise up, strap in both hands, allow that foot to come down to the ground. Now we're going to take that strap up behind the same knee. We're going to twist the strap tightly at the knee with that left hand. So the strap is behind the left knee, we've tightened the strap with our left hand at the knee. Just put the excess under your thumb so it's out of the way. We're going to hold onto the chair with our right hand. We're going to flex that left foot and we're going to use the strap to guide our leg as we rotate outward. Just making a nice circular motion, foot is flexed, sole of the foot is pointing down towards the ground. Let's do one more and pause and now rotate inward. One more. And then place that foot down and we're going to take the strap and we're going to put it under the sole of the right foot this time. Once again, one end of the strap in each hand. Sitting just on our glutes on the chair, let's lift that leg, keep that tiny bend at the knee and we're going to contract and extend. Think about a tall posture here. Try not to lean back or to either side. Sitting nice and tall, gauging the muscles in the low back and abdominals to hold you upright. Beautiful. And on your next extension out, hold there, both ends of the strap in the right hand, so your left hand is free to hold the chair. Let's extend out to the side and hold, inner thigh and groin stretch. Also check your knee, make sure it's slightly bent. Think about that tall posture, so we're not leaning to one side, we're not leaning to the back. I want you to think about sitting nice and tall. Beautiful. Let's draw that leg forward, move into our figure four. Remember your option from last time. Top foot stays flexed to protect the knee and let's exhale and lower towards our legs. Breathe deeply here. Two more breaths. Slowly rise up, strap in both hands, allow that foot to come down to the ground, bring that strap up behind the knee, and twist the strap with the right hand at the right knee, place the extra under your thumb so it's out of the way. Left hand is free to hold the chair and help with posture. Sitting nice and tall, let's flex that right foot and use the strap to guide the leg as we rotate externally. Foot is flexed, sole of the foot is pointing down. One more in this direction and then we'll pause and rotate internally. And one more. And let's set that foot down. We're just going to take that strap and we're going to set the strap aside. 
Let's grab the chair with both hands, picking up one foot. And I want you to begin rolling up the foot. So rolling the ankle in one direction. Take a look at your foot and make sure it's a nice circular shape you're making. Let's change directions, roll the other way. Again, take a look, make sure it's still a circular motion. We're going to turn this now into a point for two and a flex. A point and a flex. Two more times. Point and flex and point and flex. Let's set that foot down. We'll start with the other side. Picking up the foot, rolling it out and taking a look at this foot making sure it's a circular movement. Sometimes one foot or one direction is not quite the same. Maybe we're losing some range of motion. Let's change directions, roll the other way. So if you notice one side's a little different, that's something you can practice when you're watching TV, when you're sitting at the computer, when you're playing with your phone, anytime you're seated as long as you're not driving. And let's turn that now into a point for two and a flex, a point, and a flex. Let's do two more. Point and flex. Point and flex. And just set that foot down. Now still seated just on our glutes on the chair. Perhaps you like to scooch in just a tiny bit to feel like you are seated and rooted into that chair a little bit more comfortably. We're just going to keep our feet hip width apart. We're going to root our heels into the ground and our toes are going to be doing some movement. So we're going to start in the center. So we're going to tap center, in, center, out, center, in, center, out, center, in, center, out. Keep the movement going. As we're lifting the toes, tapping center, in, center, out, center, in, center, out. So just getting some work and a little bit of strength building all the fine muscles of the feet. Let's do two more sets and pause at center. Now draw those toes about an inch closer to you. We're gonna root the toes into the ground. They're not gonna move, and this time it's the heels that will be making the movement. So we're gonna start center in, center out, center in, center out. So with the heels, lifting and placing them back down fairly quickly, center in, center out, center in, center out. Just pivoting on the toes, Let's do two more sets. And pausing at center. Good job. Now we're going to take that tennis ball or that other small firm ball that you were able to locate. We're just going to place it under our foot. And we're going to start with just a gentle movement. The sole of the foot just in the center, a nice circular movement. Having the foot move in an inward pattern. So this foot is moving towards the other foot. So it's kind of like wash on. Now we're going to change directions, wipe off. Beautiful. So now the foot is moving away from the other foot, still rolling in the center. We're going to pause at center and we're going to put a little weight in the center of the foot. So just lean in slightly. Just slowly moving that ball around. Just noticing if there's any tight areas in the bottom of the foot. And now we're just going to relax a little bit and we're going to roll from the big toe all the way back to the heel. And then we're going to roll from the next toe to the heel. And then move to the next toe to the heel. And the next toe to the heel. And from the pinky toe to the heel. And back. Starting once again at the big toe. Next toe. And the next. And the next. Into the baby or that little pinky toe. And then once again, let's pause at center for a moment. Add a little bit of weight here. Let's take the weight off that ball. And we're just going to start at the base of the toes. Just rolling that ball back and forth across the foot at the base of the toes. And then we're going to slowly start moving towards the center of the foot. To the heel. Back towards the center of the foot. To the base of the toes. 
Beautiful job. Now let's change the foot we're working on. So rolling the ball to the other foot, starting in the center, making a nice circular movement. We're going to start moving towards the other foot to begin with. So find that nice circular movement. Readjust that ball if you don't have the, the right position, if it doesn't feel comfortable. And now we're going to move that foot away. Beautiful. Just taking a moment here, leaning in once again, just with that ball in the center of the sole of the foot, a little bit of pressure here. Gently lifting off and just moving that ball around the center of the foot, noticing if there's any tight areas. You can just release if the ball gets away on you, that's okay. Let's get it back and start over. Just looking for those tight spots. Now we're going to start by rolling from the big toe to the heel, from the next toe to the heel, and the next toe to the heel, the next toe to the heel, the baby toe to the heel. Let's work back once again, next toe to the heel, and the next to the heel, and the next to the heel, and the big toe to the heel. Beautiful. Now we're going to start with that ball at the base of the toes, and we're going to go side to side. So just rocking that ball side to side at the base of the toes, and then slowly moving into the center of the foot, moving towards the heel, Moving back towards the center of the foot, still moving side to side, back to the base of the toes. And one more time, just bringing that ball to the center of the foot and just leaning forward slightly, adding a little bit of pressure here. Let's slowly rise up. Let's just leave that ball in between our two feet so it doesn't roll away. Sit nice and tall in your chair. Let's roll our shoulders to the back of the room. Rolling our shoulders to the front of the room. Just taking a moment here, starting with your palms shining forward. We're going to inhale and reach up. Exhale and press away. Inhale and reach. Exhale and press away. Let's do one more of these. Inhale and reach. Exhale and press away. And our changes this time, we're going to inhale, reach up, bring those palms together overhead, lower them down to heart center. Sitting nice and tall on the chair, closing your eyes and bringing your attention for a moment to your breath, still breathing deeply. Let's bring our awareness now to the crown of our head and do one last scan of our body from the crown of our head to our toes. Noticing the sensation in our body and what our energy feels like after we've completed this practice together. Completing your scan of your body, bringing your awareness again to your breath. I'd like to thank all of you for sharing your energy and your time with this practice today. I hope the rest of your day is fantastic. Thank you for participating with me today. Namaste. And once again, thank you so much for joining me. And remember, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, so you won't miss any of the new releases. And please share this channel with your friends. You never know who might be looking for some mindful movement. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Be careful of that tennis ball. Don't trip today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.